Hi right, all, in this video we're going to be looking at how to take a table of data, you've got, got a table of data here, take that table or that data set um, and put it into an array. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dig right in, so we're going to call this sub current region array because that is what we're going to be using. Um, and so the first thing I want to show you is just what current region is. So I'm going to start with sheet one dot cells uh, one one um, dot current region dot select. Okay. So sheet one, if you'll notice, I'm using the code name. So this is the code name right here. Sheet one uh, cells one one actually happens to be that. Uh, current region is exactly the same as hitting control A. So that goes to the end of that. Uh, range and so if I run this code there we go I've selected that whole thing so now here comes the beauty of arrays so we're gonna go o array is equal to sheet current region we're not going to select it and I'm gonna run this line now the beauty of this is you'll notice I've been using the locals window so it pulls in a, an array which is from 1 to uh, 399 to 1 to 9. <clears throat> so now the next step that we want to do is we want to we want to essentially put this back into uh, onto sheet 2. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we're doing a copy and paste not really copy and paste but that's kind of what we're doing. Um, uh, officially, we are taking a, uh, a table, we're assigning it to an array, and then we're moving that array back to a range. So let's do that. So we're going to move this to sheet two. We're going to go sheet two dot select. Um, again, sheet two happens to be this guy right here. Its name is sheet two. That's the code name. Um, you'll notice that the name is right here. Uh, I like using code names, uh, the, co the code names, because they don't change unless someone's in the back end messing around. Uh, let's run this again. So now we're at sheet two. And so now all we need to do is write the last piece of code. Okay, so sheet two cells one one, which is this. Now we need to make sure that we resize this because we don't know how big that is going to be. Resize, and we're going to go U bound. You'll remember my la one of my last videos on U bound o array, and then we're going to do U bound. O array comma two, which is the second dimension of that, and then we're going to go equals O array. And so let's break this down just so that it makes sense. Uh, we do have our array here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this is. So this essentially is the first bound, which is one to thirty nine or one to three ninety nine. Hit that, and then if I do a comma two, uh, this is essentially uh, the same as one. Uh, but if I do comma two, it's going to be nine. So that gives me the dimensions. So I'm going to come here to this cell. I'm going to expand it by 399, and then I'm going to increase that by nine, and I'm going to make that equal to my array. And so if we do that, there it is. So let's go ahead. I'm going to clear this out, and we're going to run this like one at a time. So I'm hitting F8. Okay. I'm going to select that region, which I don't necessarily need to do, um, but it does help me see what I'm doing. I'm going to move that into array. I know that that's there because it's in my locals window. I'm going to select that second sheet, and I'm going to assign that O array equal to that range. Um, and that is one of the most powerful things that you can do with arrays, is basically snagging all that data, grabbing it, manipulating it, and in the next video we're going to be looking at a for loop uh, because that's when it becomes really, really powerful. Hope you enjoyed.